How we doing, Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Swapping Stories. As you can see in the background, part of the third row is missing, and that's because I pulled out a special card for Swapping Stories tonight. As you can see right here, we have Russell Wilson, 2010 Topps Pro Debut. Uh, this one is very interesting. Um, a lot of you are probably wondering, Russell Wilson Pro Debut, he didn't play baseball and he didn't play Major League Baseball. He had a very interesting career. Was actually drafted in the fourth round of the 2010 draft by the Colorado Rockies. Actually had a pretty promising career as a middle infielder. He was playing second base um, and outfield for Colorado. Um, I saw him as a second baseman for the Asheville Tourists in single A, the South Atlantic League. A buddy of mine and I decided to make a little baseball road trip. We wanted to go up to Hagerstown um, because the Nationals, also in 2010, had just drafted Bryce Harper. And he had just started his professional career with Hagerstown. Didn't think we'd get an autograph, but we just wanted to see him play. So we went up there, um, got to see him firsthand, and playing for Asheville was Russell Wilson. Um, they also had an outfielder by the name of Kyle Parker. And I don't know how many of you are familiar with Kyle Parker. Um, I think he made it as high as AAA for Colorado, but he also played quarterback for Clemson University. Um, so at the time, Russell Wilson had just finished up his junior year at NC State as their quarterback. So we had two ACC quarterbacks on this team. We thought that was interesting. So we got the Wilson card signed. I got an 8x10 signed by him. And an 8x10 signed by Kyle Parker. Now what's so interesting about this is we get Russell Wilson's autograph as the game started um, in Hagerstown in this stadium both clubhouses are up the right field line so the players all have to walk down the right field line the home team is in the first base dugout visitors are on third base side so they all have to walk by the same fans so if you get a spot along the right field line you're going to get players for both teams walk by you there were probably at least 30 people there waiting for Bryce Harper and I felt really bad for him um, I mean they were yelling screaming had things to sign and a lot of them looked like card dealers um, card shop owners people trying to make a quick buck on his autograph and at the time he was either 17 or 18 and I just couldn't imagine dealing with um, what he was going through um, they don't even say anything to Russell Wilson nobody seems to be aware who he is I knew who he was, and I just happened to have the pro debut card as well. So he signed that, inscribed it Matthew six thirty three. Um, but he also signed the picture. But we're in the stadium, and he was talking to us a little bit. Again, nobody comes down to bother him. They're all waiting for Bryce Harper, and he says he has to go to the dugout. He has to get warmed up for the game. So we're watching the game, you know, just exploring the stadium because we hadn't been there before. We end up eating down the left field line we're watching the game from out there in the outfield and um there's like a picnic area so we're just standing around and then it starts raining so we try and seek coverage um they've entered a rain delay at this point lightning thunder um so we're like we really need shelter we're kind of in the open here so we go under the bleachers and our logic really wasn't the greatest. We realized when we got under there, we were trying to seek shelter from a lightning storm under metal bleachers. And we're next to what appeared to be a giant propane tank that you use to, um, I'm assuming, fuel the concession stand. And if you've ever seen at the, at the sides of these big venues or anything, they look almost like giant tanks on the ground like they're long and wide not like your traditional propane tank you use for your grill um and we hear over the loudspeaker the game has been postponed so we're like let's go ahead and rush to our car real quick we get out there and we can see the visiting team bus we can see the clubhouse because we parked down the first baseline because that's pretty much the only major parking lot for spectators and it stops raining. So we're like, well, the bus is still here. Let's just get out and we can see if we can get a few more autographs. And we do. Um, the biggest one I remember getting after the game is actually former um, second baseman Marlon Anderson from the big leagues. He was um, a coach 
for Hagerstown at the time. But then here comes Russell Wilson again. We don't need anything from him at this point. But we talked to him for about an hour before the bus leaves. Just an awesome guy. Um, one guy comes up and asks for his and Kyle Parker's autograph. And they say, sure. And he says, okay, let me get the football out of the car. And I'll say this is rule, rule number one. If you're going to ask for an autograph, always be prepared with your item. He comes back and then he asks if they'll sign it on the bus so the ball doesn't get wet. That's rule number two. If you have your item and they're gracious enough to sign it for you, don't be particular about where they sign it, how they sign it, any of that stuff. Just be grateful that they signed your autograph. They actually got on the bus, signed it, put it in the bag, got off and gave it back to them. It's just awesome guys. So we talked to him. And at this point, Russell Wilson hasn't decided where he's going to go to finish his college because NC State didn't want him to play baseball and football. So he was going to transfer where he could continue his baseball career. He decides, ultimately, to go to Wisconsin. And again, when we spoke to him, he wasn't sure um, where he was going um, or wasn't positive yet. He thought it might be Wisconsin, but he wasn't sure. Um, he has an absolutely phenomenal senior season in Wisconsin gets drafted, I believe in the third round by the Seahawks. And the rest is history. I don't think he goes back to play minor league baseball after that. His rights get traded a couple times. I think he appeared in a spring training game last year with the Yankees. But, um, you know, made a career for himself in the Super Bowl. Um, great NFL player. Um, won a Super Bowl and is actually this year's Walter Payton Man of the Year. So I thought who better to go ahead and do a swapping stories on but Russell Wilson the year he wins man of the year um, so again signed the 2010 pro debut um, as you can see you know this is again before I realized about blue sharpies and all that stuff and the sharpie did end up starting to die towards the end of the night but this is still one of my favorite cards um, one of just a few cards of Russell Wilson where he's in a baseball uniform so I think that's really cool too. Um, definitely a highlight of my collection. Happy I was able to share this story with you. Um, I hope to get back to Hagerstown at some point. Um, I know they're not affiliated with the minor leagues anymore, but you know I think they're going to get an independent team, um, one of those developmental leagues Ooh, that Major League Baseball is doing. Um, so if they end up with one of those developmental league teams, maybe I'll go up see the stadium again there's a lot of history in that stadium um, but you know I just love going to these minor league ballparks because you know you get such great access to the players um, and such great stories out of it so I'm happy I'm able to share them with you and I hope you're enjoying the swapping story series I'll see you next time God bless